Hi, my name's Jasmine and I'm Seth. And I'm going to do a magnificent mealworm experiment. I started out getting the mealworms from the pet shop. Then I counted them to see how many there were and there should be about 76 in each container. I'm testing their habitat and their source of water. Their source of water, cucumber and carrot. Their habitat, cornflakes and oats. I'm also testing to see how many larvae there are, how many pupae there are, and how many adults there are. Containers three and one will have oats in them, and containers two and four will have cornflakes. I'm testing the mealworms between the carrot and cucumber. Container three will get a piece of carrot, and container one will get a piece of cucumber. Container four will get some cucumber, and container two will get some carrot. I'll put my mealworms in and make sure that they're all in. Every three days, we tip out their old food and give them some more. We we also count them and give them some more water supply. What do you do when you've counted them? Once we've counted them, we put it down on the sheet and count how many there are. It's now day 15 and we've been counting the meal ones every few days. What's happening here? We've found a couple of pupas. In container one, we discovered that there's some mold in it. Luckily, none of them died. We've got 53 larvae and seven pupa. We've been running our mealworm experiment now for one month and we're doing our final count of them to see which one is better. And what have we found? Well, we found an adult. Yay! Dance. We've seen that Dance. the highest score surviving is 46 containers 4 and 1. They were cucumber. The highest number of adults, 17. Containers four and two. They were cornflakes. And what's this one taught you? Yeah, this one has taught me that cornflakes are the best to use as a habitat and cucumber is the best to use as their water source. What are you gonna do with these ones now? These ones, I might keep on doing an experiment, but... So you're just gonna keep them? Yeah.